spoilers ahead. If you have or have not finished The Mandalorian, let me treat, be as gentle as possible when it comes to the spoilers because at the end of The Mandalorian Season 2, midway through The Mandalorian Season 2, Boba Fett made his triumphant return, which is awesome until you figure out, well, what's going to happen to Boba Fett? We finally see Boba Fett get his armor back and he leaves with another uh, I, uh, associate. Well, the end credit scenes of Mandalorian season two, Boba Fett pretty much is going to be the ruler of the underworld on Tatooine. So what does that mean? It means that coming this winter, we get finally a Boba Fett live action series, not a side character, not a character that's an afterthought, a very own series. And it is called The Book of Boba Fett. A thrilling Star Wars adventure teased in a surprise end credit sequence following the season two finale of The Mandalorian finds legendary bounty hunter Boba Fett and mercenary Fennec Shand navigating the galaxy's underworld where they return to the sands of Tatooine to stake their claim on the territory once ruled by Jabba the Hutt and his crime syndicate. This will be playing on Disney Plus starting December 29th of this year. A few more stills of the series. You see a lot of, since it is in Tatooine, it is a lot of familiar faces. And there is the man himself, Boba Fett, back in his armor in all his glory. I am not a bounty hunter. I've heard otherwise. I know that you sit on the throne of your former employer. Jabba ruled with fear. I intend to rule with respect. You were all once captains under Jabba the Hutt. I'm here to make a proposal that's mutually beneficial. Why speak of conflict when cooperation can make us all rich? What prevents us all from killing you? Taking what we want. If you had spoken such insolence to Java, he'd have fed you to his menagerie. Please, speak freely. What do you think about that? Boba Fett, finally, his own series, front and center. No wondering how he got out of the Sarlacc pit. No expanded universe, which is cool in itself. No comic books this time. What I mean is, finally, the live action of one of the most beloved characters in Star Wars franchise history. Going back to the scene of the crime where he, and hopefully it was like one of my friends say, hopefully we get an episode on just how he got out of the Sarlacc pit. Everyone's been wanting to see Boba Fett. And when we saw him in the Mandalorian, we were excited. We were, oh, finally, uh, we see just his, they did the character justice just in the episodes he was in the Mandalorian. Now he gets his own series 
And you kind of feel like there's a little Sopranos vibe going on as he is now the boss of the underworld. And if you ever seen Kill Bill, there was a, a scene where he's with all the other underworld bosses kind of talking, well, why don't we just, you know, take care of you now and, and make a comment. It just reminded me of that scene from Kill Bill. So I, I really am looking forward to that. One of the things I like about Disney Plus is the service. They always have something for us to watch. As soon as you're done with one series, here comes another series. Then here comes another series. Then they throw in a few movies here and there. I really enjoyed The Mandalorian. I enjoyed all the characters. And to see the side characters, and especially Boba Fett, get their own series, I think is going to be awesome. Again, let me know in the comment sections what you think 